show they are here. No, I'm not kidding. They're actually here. Can we get them over for the cheer? Thank you for amazing. Thank you for being so great. My name is Claire. I'm your moderator today. I'm going to introduce each cast member one by one. And again, you've got to cheer right till they get, till they get right here. Can you do that? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Please. Welcome on stage, it's Jennifer Aylor! Guidance. Uh, no, speak with animals. I know D and D, and also both of us get free. Uh, 
I don't know what the spell is. Can someone tell me what the spell is? Speak, yeah, speak with animals. No, but don't I say something in Latin? Yeah. Speak with animals. Speak with animals. <laughs> Characters where the art and the creativity sort of enters the ether. Do you feel differently about the characters now through the fans or anything? Um, yeah? I don't like differently. I think that, I think a, a deeper appreciation. We all knew how good the writing was when we were working on it, and how great Larry and I were. It's not very fucking serious. Yeah. <laughs> you did the Neil series. I did the Neil series. 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 Did the Raise the bar. Uh, so no, we, we all knew, I think, uh, what great, amazing stories, amazing characters, super unique characters that we were working on. So I think, I think, I don't know how you feel, but I, I definitely felt like seeing the connection from the communities with our characters didn't change our perspective on the characters, but it made us understand how how well it was crafted and how I and mean, what a great job everybody did to have that level of impact. On them. Really seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I yield my remainder of my time to my colleagues. <laughs> yes, colleagues, you miss me. <laughs> Much these games mean to yeah. people. Can you that big face? I'm very hot. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god! Um, this is a great experience for me. My ego is inflating as we speak. Uh, yeah, so it's just really lovely. It's so nice to be a part of games that have such um, an impact. And one of the things, I don't know if I felt this yet with Orin because she's still kind of like people are trickling in and finding her. And what, oh, spoilers, I'm more in the red. Um, <laughs> So I'm not going to say anything about her in case you haven't reached her yet, but you are in for a treat, or, I don't know, well, you're in for something. <laughs> but I certainly felt that way about Lady W. Trask, and that was one of the coolest things, I think, and not, I, it's really important, I think, for you all to realize the impact and the power that you have as fans, even on us, because it was so cool to see people's creativity shine, and it really felt for me that once we make these characters, Stop laughing, I'm being serious for once. And I'm We're trying to do a serious thing. I'm doing the thing. I've backed the other one away, and I'm doing this for you. For you. Thank you. Who says that? Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, anyway, but once we create these characters and the games are out there, it, they really do feel like these organic, living, breathing things yeah. that take on a life of their own, and they're only added to and expanded yeah. by the relationship that fans and other artists have with them. So see, I'm speaking. <laughs> character before he was. Yeah! And, um, and he was my idiot brother, and so... But sometimes you do need to improve upon perfection. It's well, it's well. <laughs> I'm about to throw it down. <laughs> Who do you think would win, Lady D or Astari? <laughs> Thank you. 
if you think Lady D would win in a fight, raise your hands. I was like, it's all yes, okay, it's very civilized. Yes! You are correct. There's even a historian with their hands raised. Yes! Fuck okay. it! I know a second. I know a second. We didn't establish what we're fighting with. Are we oh. fighting with swords or panache? Panache? <laughs> She's with us either. <laughs> I'm so desperately trying to do serious answers, it's just not happening. You know what? I have an answer. Go cool. on. Yes, you can. So for those who don't know, I did also performance direct on what? this game. <laughs> but you all know me because I've romance shadow heart IRL. So <laughs> but I voiced two really inconsequential. Yeah. NPCs in the game, thinking yes. like no one would pay attention to that. The squirrels are all voiced by the directors. Yeah, Beth. Beth. Yeah, Beth yeah, Park yeah. is one of them. Adrian Townsend is the other one with me. So for me, since the game has come out, yes, like the fan reaction to the characters. <laughs> Look at that. Like these guys holding <laughs> one of the NPCs. The squirrel over there. Absolutely. <laughs> the reaction since the game's been out there but changed it. Let's hear for the squirrel. Come on. <laughs> You stand up and just dance. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> girlfriend. So I had a D and D question for you guys. I had a D and D question for you guys. Um, okay, so according to the D and D alignment system, okay, <coughs> sorry, but you, you lost me that. Yes, aggressive, but yes. Are you? Well, listen carefully. Lawful good, lawful neutral, lawful evil, neutral good, true neutral. True evil, chaotic good, chaotic neutral, or chaotic evil. I dare as you chaotic everything. Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing a t-shirt. You want to model the t-shirt? We need to see a guys look.
let's talk about work and build to because it's a comedy show. We don't really do, it's not like a, my private life. It's like this is a comedy show. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to be able to promote art and creativity and games and narrative and stuff. So it's been a real joy to see. Also, the main other thing is we've made it an inclusive safe space as yours as well as all of ours is really um, to be allow people a bit of time out because there's a lot of shit in the world. And it's really nice to see how many people have found each other through, you know, it's that, it's that thing, isn't it? You build it and people will come. It's that thing. So we don't really have a prediction of what we're going to do. We just know what the sensibilities that we have and the people. Got. Our friends, all of our friends are implied as trans, you know, non binary, gay, straight, pan, whatever. So we want to represent that in the stuff that we, the work we do. Um, so it's been great. It's been really nice. And Deb, I know you're new to streaming, actually, because like, Neil's been on for quite a while, but I watched some of your vods, but I, it's so, you're just like chatting away <laughs> for the game. Swearing away, <laughs> chatting away. <laughs> but, but, like, oh, I love watching you stream. I'm like, how are you finding it, Deb? It was a steep learning curve. Yeah. Um, slightly technologically challenged. Wait, do you game or do you just get on and you just chat? Oh no, yes. I game. <laughs> <laughs> Game. <laughs> I, I actually, no competition implied, but I recently won an award for most improved gamer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's been it's been really fun. I, I love it, and I just want to say that the community has been absolutely incredible. Like all of you guys, it's just absolutely. Like, On the street. <laughs> there is this greasy on the streets. <laughs> 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 really competitive here, <laughs> uh, I should say that I am ahead of Jen and Aliana in the game. Uh, <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only second to deal in how far I am, and I'm not, it's not a competition. We're competing! Like, Jen and Aliana were having a conversation about something completely fucking different. And out of nowhere, she was, no, only just behind you in the street. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just thought I should mention it. <laughs> so, but hey, we still slay the goblins, man. We still slay these gobbles. Um, what about you, Jen and Aliana? Uh, what are your community called? Well, <laughs> there are several names for our community. <laughs> um, my favourite, and I think your favourite too, babe. Shouty Party. <laughs> although, although we do have a, a, a Discord with. Deb Deb, that is called Thanks Our Death Get Along. Yeah. <laughs> if we must, uh, which is called the Our Death Get Along. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Happy, <laughs> you do not stream. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. What would your community be called, Maggie? I wonder what your community would be called. Oh, boo pee pee. <laughs> Also, guys, I'm already part of the, the fart girls. Why am I not part of the Poo Poo Pee Pee Club or whatever it's called? Right, okay, I'm talking to Maggie after the panel. Guys, can we have a round of applause for this first part of the panel, please? <laughs> I'm going to say I had journalistic questions to ask you, but I knew it would devolve. So. I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But we've got some we'll bad questions so. there. You. you may rise, squirrel. What is your name? What is your question, my friend? Straight into the mic, please. So we can hear you. I am the squirrel. <laughs> and, uh, well, I want to thank Eliana for giving me permission to romance Shadow Heart for the 12th playthrough in a row. <laughs> this is mostly for my fiance who gets tired of all the Shadow Heart lines. <laughs> like, uh, love all you. You're welcome. <laughs> what is your question, my dear? So, this is just like a what if question. So, if your characters were romancing Tav and Tav had amnesia, how would they react? Oh. <laughs> okay, who wants to start with that? Neil. 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 Can we all just point at Neil and just be like, Neil, 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 Neil? Uh, 
I think, I think the story, and based on the story, is I think he would definitely manipulate them into thinking they owe him money. <laughs> oh no, darling, I told you, and you're going to need me back Wednesday. Don't worry, take a couple of extra days. Hundred gold cards, thank you. Love. What about you guys? Okay, we're with Dev. <laughs> Sorry, Dev. I would probably just Lazel. Obviously, we're not the same. Um, Lazel would probably say something like, "Are you dense, Ishtik, or has the tadpole got to your brain?" <laughs> Sometimes directors take a more technical stance, whereas when I was, I hope you guys can attest to this, when I was directing, it was always about truth and authenticity. And I was watching like, the whole body ensuring that what they're telling me is 100% true to them. So art, I guess, and honesty and authenticity over technical directing is, would be my answer. I'm looking at Jen, like, Jen, is that right? Yeah, that's great, thing. you, Gracie. This is my first panel. We found the gentle. Thank you so much for your wonderful question. What's your name and what's your question? Hello, I'm Emily. Um, my question is, if you could give your characters one piece of life advice, what would it be? Okay. Oh, I thought you said a swim piece, <laughs> and I got so excited <laughs> to answer. So if I was to give my character a swim piece, <laughs> it would definitely be one of those like bikinis that's like quite high up. <laughs> and has the two pieces that goes around there. I'd like to answer that question instead. Emily, you're awesome. Your care package is great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Piece of advice question. Yeah. Life yeah. advice. It depends where where Shadowheart's at. I think uh, towards the beginning, I'd be like, maybe have a look at the authority figures in your life, and if they are really <laughs> serving you, um, maybe like giving her a guide on like toxic relationships. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's like, go to Maggie. We've not heard from her. <laughs> Maggie, go on. Um, I think I... Thank you. Uh, I think I tell Oren to get the fuck away from her family. <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere else. You'll be fine. Let's go to Aliona. <laughs> Eat more acorns. <laughs> Remember where you buried your acorns. <laughs> Perfect. And no heel. I don't know, man. It's a tough one, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to be a dickhead and say, I like, don't know if I have any life advice to give it. Because for me, it was like, only because, like, he goes through the journey, and depending on what journey you pick, he learns what he learns or he doesn't, you know what I mean? So, I don't feel good about giving him advice, because I went with him on his journey. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit of a cop out. So, <laughs> uh, if I was, okay, crossbow to head. Okay. Um, I would say uh, good things happen when you allow a good thing. Good things happen when? When you allow a good thing. Oh. I love how Jen James the answer. It's not that I've never really thought about things like that. Yeah. I mean, That's as, fair. A, as an actor. I don't really. I never pose, I might ask, ask many questions about character, mm -hmm. but never things like that, because I'm, I'm not going to stop him doing what he needs to do. So, I don't give him advice, I'm, I'm helping him go through it. Do you know what I mean? I love that, so too. I've never really thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Great question. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. Hello again. I see you again. 
You look amazing. Thank you. And then tell everyone your name and your question. Maybe simple size the French. Separate from the characters you voice, were in the world of D&D, &D, what class would you be? Would you magic? What would, what would you vibe be? Rich. <laughs> Rich class. <laughs> okay, so that's our answer of the day, everyone. <laughs> what would your class be? Would you be a bit of magic? Would you be a warrior? What would you be? Um, I, I, I'm currently playing uh, BG3 as a wood elf sorcerer. I'm thinking druid. Druid. That is really cool. Elfie. You don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but I'd like to be magic. So maybe that. Yeah. Magical. Magical. Aliana. Not to be boring and copy my girlfriend, but also druid. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> They're just nauseating, aren't they? <laughs> That's a, this is the evil core of the world. I guess I'm really improving my case of the audience. Yeah, it's literally alignment. Great. <laughs> um, I think I'd be a barbarian because I really like to smash things. Like, go yeah. So fucking phenomenal. I couldn't imagine myself doing a better job than anybody else. So I'm happy we're out. Yeah. Oh, uh, real stomping. <laughs> <laughs> right, so thank you for your great best. Two sizes. <laughs> Hello again, I'm Hello. Hello. This lovely person is in my Twitch stream. Hey. Hey. Tell everyone your name again Hi. and your question, please. This is actually also Claire. Hi, oh, yeah. great name. So, yeah. <laughs> what's so, your question? Um, I, I thank you all for being here, and I also especially wanted to thank Claire again for being such a great moderator. Hi, hi. This is our resident BG3 a moderator. She just travels with us every um, month. Yeah. She has yeah. probably the best chemistry I've ever seen as a panel moderator, so it's always a pleasure. Thank you. They make it easy because they're so freaking okay, so What's always, your question? I always love asking actors the inside the actor's studio questions, and yep. I'm sorry I have laryngitis. Um, so I sound like a frog. Um, <laughs> I usually sound better than this. But um, I always love asking, asking actors the inside the actor's studio questions. Mm -hmm. For ease of time, I'll probably just ask three. So if you're okay with that. Can we stick to one for this one? Because we're squick a long queue. Let's go for one. Okay. Okay, go for it. Okay. What turns you on? Let's complete the question. Neil, calm down. It's a bit. I'm 
projecting into bed. <laughs> Spiritually, emotionally, otherwise, what turns? That's a great thing. Is that, yeah? Is that, yeah? Do you want to take it? Sure. Okay. Um, it's for everybody, and I'd like Claire to answer as well. Yeah. Oh, Claire. Well. <laughs> what turns me on? This is, I'm going to do a nail song. If this sounds like a bullshit answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, um, I was thinking this after the last few panels and this one. I bloody love my job, and I, because I just, I get so much joy from speaking to people on stage, but also speaking to people off stage, like all of you guys. And um, I'm not going to get emotional. I'm just going to say that's it. It's because I, I don't want to cry. Shut and answer the question, you guys. Don't look at me. Go for it. Uh, what are your answers? Um, I'd say really. I'm allowed to swear, right? Yes. It's our panel, come on. Um, yeah, was good. Really fucking good art, and then yes. really fucking good people. Um, yes. and, like, that, that combination can never lose. So, yeah, Porsche covers that's everything. Yeah, Porsche covers everything. Yeah. Good, good art and good people. That's yeah, it. that's all you need in life, right? Yeah, I second that. Let's go with Deb, let's just go down the line, Deb. Um, yeah, bringing people joy, making people laugh, entertaining people, um, and just, yeah, and obviously being able to <laughs> interact with everyone and see everyone's joy is just like, blah, blah. that's why I was like, are you tired? And I'm like, no, I'm actually really high off everybody's <laughs> energy. And uh, we're just so lucky to do this, I think, and uh, we have to sometimes stop and be like, God damn, we are, what is, what is life? Because we've only ever dreamed of this, really, and I think now it's a reality. It's like, wow, it's incredible. So, yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> what turns you on spiritually, creatively, emotionally? Yeah. Was my answer, yes. <laughs> question. Just kindness and authenticity. Those things turn me on spiritually, emotionally. Is that, am I understanding the question? Yes. Yeah. 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 Thanks, baby. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that you asked this question at a Revenue Legal stream and I now look like a complete arsehole because I said cheese. <laughs> Because I knew your answer, Maggie. I was gonna when I got asked, I was gonna go, cheese. <laughs> you have fucking dare. <laughs> Don't take my cheese. Well, I love a good man cheese. Okay. Uh, what about you? Uh, oh, I didn't say anything. They already said it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And thank you so much uh, for being here at the other panel. Thank you very much. Yeah. Love you. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Excuse me. Do you have a person? Yes. Uh, let's just consider you very late for that one. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, hello, my friend. Right into the mic so we can hear your name and question, please. Hi, my name is Kat. Um, first of all, you guys are amazing. Your performances have been such an inspiration in so many ways to me and other people and have helped people out of a bad space. So on behalf of myself and fans out there, that couldn't make it big people. Um, Welcome. And, uh, and uh, my question is, what is the most challenging or uh, most memorable motion capture performance you did for BG3, and why? Memorable performance, motion capture performance for BG3, why? Okay. I can jump in, and because I really remember this, probably one of the first ones I did, the fight with Shadowheart. Yeah. The, with the knife and stuff. Because I think there were many different iterations of that, and there was a lot of... Straddling. <laughs> straddling is so cushioned. Straddling is so cushioned. Not of each other. Not of each other. Um, Unfortunately. But yeah. Um, uh, that, that was good fun because it was, it was one of the more physical ones. Uh, and also being in the Zapisk. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, you agree or you want to add something else? Oh yeah, it was just really wonderful because Adriana did the motion capture for that scene. So I would get the reference of my girlfriend playing myself and then had to imagine fighting one of my friends. So it was, it was just, a, it was a cracking comment. Yeah. Love it. Okay, let's go down to the evil end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go with Neil. Yeah. Um, 
I, in terms of a star rating, I had four years of bliss, man. Every day was joyous. The only, the only time I had problems was like my physics had burnt out twice. Apart from that, every day was amazing. Um, but I did one memorable thing was actually when I was directed. I directed the wonderful, wonderful Dave Jones, who plays House. <laughs> Guy, super lovely guy, and I may have directed some of the bare sex scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was just on it for six months, so I did do a little bit of it. And then we found out later that they're using Stallion's models, that was kind of fucking weird. But <laughs> uh, Dave's great, Dave's like joyous to work with, and you work with Dave. Yeah. He's amazing. He's fucking amazing, and he's such a nice guy. I'm really glad to see him getting the. Uh, the spotlight on him as well, and just as seeing him like flourish, because like, I mean, so many of the cast did such a great job. I think the cool thing that we may not have talked about behind the scenes was that when we got to meet each other in the environment, it was like, I don't know, it might be at school or something. It was really just not like a fun school, I mean. Uh, no, it, was just, it was fun, it was just like all the actors would come in, you'd do your sessions, you'd meet other actors going out. It was just, uh, usually a great sense of joy and fun whilst we're shooting. I just like got to know you guys through that really well, really, really early on as well. I got to meet Dev, you know, struck pretty much straight away within a few weeks. I heard about Dev. I met her by spilling my entire bag on the floor in front of the elevator. <laughs> Ass up, head down, trying to get my shit back in. And a pair of boots come in. I was like, hi, you're okay. <laughs> so yeah, it was just great. It was just a good time, man. So yeah, for me, I guess the best sex thing was pretty good. <laughs> I was wondering how long it'd be until we mentioned the bear six. Well, what were your memorable moments? I'm not going to lie, my experience was quite strange because I flew over and then the next day I was in the volume. And so I was <coughs> so jet lagged. Yeah, you I think I actually blacked out the whole experience. Um, but I do remember Neil uh, coming into the studio and watching some of my sessions. Yeah, and that was just quite fun that I got to see him. Yeah, yeah. It's so lovely how. Larry's very good at making everything feel like a family, and making you feel very included, and so yeah. that's always a special place to be working. And, yeah. I gave a real answer. <laughs> I think you have graduated. You may rise. <laughs> yes. I'll be really honest, in terms of acting, directing, any memorable moments. Well, no, I was going to say, in terms of mocap, I was going to answer the Lazel Shadowheart scene because I think it's out there that the actors mostly did the stationary mocap and the in between uh, cutscenes were done by other performers. I was one of them, Neil was one of them, um, and yeah, the fight scene, I played Shadowheart and someone else played Lazel. Oh, but since it was Saskia. Yeah, Saskia's Who's really hot, so it's really She's beautiful. phenomenally hot. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a husky. Yeah. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. But we both have like chin straps on. And also very talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and very kind and lovely. But actually, since that answer's already been taken, I did some of Orin. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, you took it out. And it was before I met you. Yeah, it's it's fun. Yeah, it was then yeah. the. I always quote it. Like, yes sir, no sir, slip. Slip and cut your throat, sir. I'll show you the video. You would, like, sometimes you hear uh, the recordings and you're like, okay, what can I do with this? With your one, like, the performance was already there. It was so easy. So you do work. that after we record our lines. Yeah. It's, but, so, so basically, just to be very clear, folks, all the actors did their performance capture in the volume, like, literally full performance. But sometimes it's impossible to do the blending between the mechanics or gameplays or walking in because you get a much larger volume and multiple people interacting. That's why we have, have this great team of makeup actors that stepped in to do all that work. So it's, it's a kind of supporting blend. It's not they didn't do all the characters. So myself, Aliona, Saskia, for instance, we would help fill in the bits where it was impossible for the actors in the pickup volume to do it. Just if there's any confusion about that. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was cool. I remember you did. I saw the pictures of you doing work. Right. Very cool. Thank you for that question. Thank, Thank you for looking at this. Thank you. Step forward, right there. Right into the mic so we can hear you, your name and question. Uh, my name is Manu, and this is a question specifically for you. So I wanted your opinion. Yeah, man. Can kind of. you do you prefer a Starian's early access outfit or his final outfit? <laughs> You know, you can dress them all pretty much for anything. <laughs> uh, I don't have a preference, man. I did no idea at all. It's great. I, have a, I think I have an... Uh, I don't know if it's unusual or not. I, I, I like fashion. I'm into sort of fashion. Um, I like it kind of all. I think it's all fucking cool. Uh, 
cold and shit. Um, I'd love to cosplay at some point in life. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't both, they both have their charms, you know? Thank you very much for your question. Thank you. Step right forward, right into the mic. What's your name and question? Lydia Stars guide us. <laughs> I am Connor, and Shadow Hearts is definitely my favorite character. It's entirely due to your wonderful voice acting oh, performance. Yeah. So thank you. Um, my question is for you, but also for others to chime in, which is how similar are you to Shadow Heart, do you think? Specifically, are you as snarky and teasing as Shadow Heart is? Am I? No. <laughs> I think um, I remember when I was cast as Shadow Heart, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't really get why I've been chosen for this. Um, and then I think I realised as time went on, I was like, oh, maybe I am quite fundamentally similar to her. Um, <laughs> but, but definitely no, no snark. I don't think. Am I no, snark? No. But you're very God's favourite. I am God's favourite. <laughs> For Starians, it's like a drop in head movement with a line, just, hey, man, it's a Starian, and I just use different scales of it. And that just makes me feel a little feline, a little into it, and just, like, just drop into it. So it's like, it's a, well, I can do it, it's kind of boring to see it, but I can do it for you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll stand on the volume and just start going, hello, my name's a Starian. <laughs> hello, my name's a Starian. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because we would direct so many people through the day, you'd be prepared, yeah. but you didn't know in what order you were seeing them, and then you'd just hear, hello, my name's a star. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, mate. Like, yeah. Here's the thing, so Ali, I, know, I met Ali as my former director, and um, I don't know if you were prepared, because Beth Hart was not prepared, she wasn't prepared. But you mentally, me. no. no. no <laughs> so they, they actually have, they have an Excel document with notes about me as an actor, <laughs> on how to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not going to be behaved, I'm just a lot, I think. Yeah, that's what the note said. Yeah, the note's just, it's fine, it's, it's okay, it's just... <laughs> Three lots of caffeine before working on the other. What about you, Max? How'd you get into the bay and get into the character? Um, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> the um, weight of cheese. Yeah. Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, you're at the panel, Maggie. You're at the panel. Can we all say hello, Maggie? Hello, Are you back? I don't know anymore. <laughs> How do I get into character? Uh, I I like to work very physically. Oh, wow, you're making me say things. <laughs> I like to work physically as an actor. I love doing like animal work or thinking about love and technique and different uh, rhythmic qualities of movement that help me get into a character and craft a physical palette for a character. Oh my god, physical palette for a character. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it, go for it. I dig it, go for it. Yeah, I was going to say that's how I get into character. Loving your work, Maggie. Just loving your work. Fantastic answer. Thank you. No problem. Thank uh, what you. Bit, what bit you, Aliana, like, you're Get into a role or get into a role of a squirrel. Four lines as a squirrel. Yeah, like, how did you get into it? I ain't no nuts. Just chewing on some nuts. Yeah, some nuts and both cheeks. Do we really have to do this? Yeah, go in and record. Okay. Um, I can answer how I get into character for directing. Yes, please. I had a cap that I would put on and that was the director's hat. Directors. And it was the like, because sometimes actors look for approval to be like, am I doing a good job? Not, but a lot of the time they are. I wore the hat. Not you guys. You guys always wear it. Everyone else does. But if I wore the hat, I was in director mode. So I was ready. Okay, got it. You've you, you cast out amongst the panels. What about you, Dev? Well, I'm going to be honest. I, as Jen and Eliana probably know, although I am a bubbly person, I get irritated and angry quite fast. <laughs> yes. so, it's so funny when she does it. It's really funny. There was not too much of a stretch for me to get into character. Also, the journey into the studio, often there would be people walking very slowly. <laughs> irritates me. And I feel like there should be two lanes, one for the slow walkers and one for people like me. Even just thinking about that. I've said that out loud now because I've been thinking about it for such a long time. Um, and, uh, and, and then I had a baby, and that was even easier to get into character with being irritable and sleep deprived. So, not much of a stretch, to be honest. Yeah, you're my new hero. I hate slow walking. Oh, uh, God. That sounds good. Yeah, so thank you for voicing these concerns. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Get it on my chest, clearly. Last but not least, Jen. I am a slow walker. Oh. <laughs> And the thing is, like, for me, getting into character, it, there was a lot of, I mean, Shadowheart's very, like, her emotional journey is vast, as you probably know, and so a lot of that was uh, me listening to music, really just kind of getting into the depths of it, um, and it was a lot. And I would be listening to music slowly <laughs> on my walk in. <laughs> Music's a good one, but I got Music's a, great. Yeah, I think like you, I made a playlist, playlist for Starring. Yeah. yeah, which was a great way to start the day. What? It's out there on Spotify. Yeah. Uh, it's under like Neil Workay or something like that. Uh, it's not, nothing to do with Lauren, it's not official in any way, shape, or form. It's just any actors here, like uh, Jennifer was saying, music is a fantastic way. It doesn't require intellectualization, it's just sensorial. So if you are thinking about inspiration, create a play playlist, a tempo for your character. I do it for all my characters, it's really cool. It's very useful, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, next question, this will be, I think, our last question. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but you know, these guys are here today and tomorrow, right? So if, if you didn't get to ask a question, then please, please go see them. Um, okay, this is the last question. Okay, it's, a great, it's a very quick question. I'm Alex, by the way. Hi. Hi Alex. Um, what is one, if you had to work in the, continue to work in voice acting, what is one gaming franchise you would look forward to working in the future? Oh, let's get full. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's probably the that's right the answer. answer. Yeah. Yeah. I get the last words. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so Baldur's Gate cool story. Yeah, yeah this course. is not related to Baldur's Gate, but this is a very serious question, everyone, because you have to be careful. You can manifest. I was asked this on a panel years ago, and uh, Blue, this is for you as well. Um, I was at a panel years ago, and somebody asked me this question, and I was like, I don't know, I'm just like really into fantasy stuff. Like, I thought God of War was really cool. Cut to a year later, I book this project that's under a code name, and I don't even know what it is. I show up to the VO booth, and they're like, oh, by the way, it's God of War Ragnarok. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it can happen, everyone. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. So, so much. You want to see Baldur's Gate 4? I want a bigger role for that. I want this. I want this girl to be a main character. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine this girl on the poster? <laughs> <laughs> Just looking like wistfully off into the middle distance. Yes. That will look good. Thank you for your question, my friend. Can we have a round of applause for the band question? I need your help, everybody. We have some work to do before the end of this panel. Um, <laughs> Maggie's like, what? <laughs> I have to do more panel stuff. Um, I'm, we're going to do a couple of um, selfies from the stage. Yes. Uh, one with my phone, or you guys' phones, and then we've got Edgar. Give a round of applause for Edgar. <laughs> Edgar's going to take one, it's going to be a video selfie, so we want a lot of noise and a lot of like movement without hurting the person next to you. And then we'll do a few still shots. So you guys game? Yeah! Okay, and then after that we're going to say goodbye to these guys properly. So let's do the selfies first. Ha <laughs> ha!